Aloha kako, my name is Kimo Kipano. I am the light seer and I'm also a Hawaiian high seer. Today, we are going through the socials, we're going through social media and we are going to be answering questions. First question. First question that we have today is what is a portal? This is one of those things that gets confusing because a portal gets confused for what a vortex is. Now, a portal is just semantics. So here's what it looks like. And for me, everything has to be evidential and experiential, meaning that I do not feel comfortable speaking about anything unless I see it over and over and over. Portals are brought in by emotional frequencies, meaning that you're you know, really, really angry. And when you're really, really angry, it opens up this energetic form for a lot more anger to come through or from resentment to come through. And every single emotional imprint actually has a sound and a vibration and they look like something. So portals are brought in because we bring them in. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> We're in New York City. When you are experiencing some kind of a portal, you usually, depending on what kind of an intuitive that you are, you will feel it. You'll feel some kind of inclination. You'll feel like, um, like I'm kind of spinning. My mind is spinning a little bit. Or you'll feel like um, my friend just came over and my friend is having a hard time and they just left, but something feels a little off in the house now. That is a portal. We'll bring them in, we drop them off, and then we leave. So a lot of times what people are sensing in their home or you know, after leaving a really heated conversation, it's just someone's residual portal. Now, the, the big question that I get a lot is how do we close it? Well, there's various ways to close it. The biggest and easiest way to close a portal is to remain clear. And some people will, you know, bathe themselves in light. They'll put a little protective bubble around themselves. All of that is moving and closing portals. Easier than you think that it is. All right, next question we're answering, what exactly is a vortex? And this is where things get a little tricky because vortex and portal are very, very similar. But think about it this way. If a portal is human, you know, coming from human form and from our emotions and our thoughts and our actions and, and more, a vortex is actually coming in from nature energy. Now, a vortex might be small, might be large. Usually they are in the ground, but they are not always in the ground. I have seen vortexes in the sky behind trees. Um, I used to work overseas and I've seen them in the ocean. That is nature made energy. Basically energy and information comes and goes and comes and goes, right? It's like a constant revolving door of energy coming and going. And in terms of what comes in and goes out is connected to the kind of information of the person who is next to it. So for example, I'm in Brooklyn right now. If I were to walk out of my door to the left of my building is a small little vortex. If I stand in that vortex for um, a certain amount of time, if I'm just passing through, depending on what my, my, my brain frequency is in the moment, I will feel something. And you'll usually feel a shift. Uh, almost feels like vertigo, you know, where you kind of like feel like the world is spinning. A vortex will feel that way. But again, it's all about alchemy. Right place, right time, right thought process, right energetic frequency at the right time in connection to that vortex in order to decipher if you are around a vortex or not. Now, you can take a step forward, forward, you can, <laughs> you can take a step forward and you can help decipher information through what a vortex actually is, meaning let the vortex be of assistance. Am I trying to decipher information about myself? Is there energy coming and going that could be of assistance? Am I trying to decipher the codes of Atlantis? Am I trying to, you know, utilize that vortex to be of assistance for that information? It gets really, really wild. And that is only skimming the surface of that information. If this information is of interest to you, please hit the subscribe, hit that like button. I do push out information every single day. So you'll get a little snippet of some chemo time. So hit the like and subscribe, please.